Yo, welcome back everybody to a mini Peach Slide Paldean Fates deck video and today's episode of Bad Deck Friday, we're going to be looking at an Amistar V Kangaskhan deck. Now the idea behind this deck is we are going to be using Kangaskhan EX as our main attacker. It does have that big attack here, which for 3 colorless energy does 100 damage and you flip 4 coins and it does 100 damage for each head. Now that isn't terrible, if you literally flip all 4 heads on the Kangaskhan's attack, you can do 4 100 damage. Now, the best way to build up your Kangaskhan is, of course, going to be with Archeops here. Now, instead of playing Lugia and kind of where this deck falls into the bad deck Friday category is because we're going to get Archeops out with Omastar V instead with the attack Primal Guidance. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon that evolve from an item card that has Fossil in the name. So essentially what you do with this deck is you can use Omastar's Primal Guidance attack and you can actually put Archons into play instead of Archeops. Now, this does mean you don't have to rely as heavily on a Lugia V-Star relying on that V-Star power, finding Archeops to discard with Ultra Balls and stuff. It's a little less convoluted than that. You just put two Archons in play with the Amistar if you can find it turn one, and then from there, you can get the Archeops out, evolving your Archons into Archeops and starting the train. It's basically just a colorless Archeops deck. Of course, the main attacker we have is Kangaskhan. There are some other Pokemon in the deck. We got a couple Mew EXs in the deck with that genome hacking attack. Really good against Giratina V-Star. We have a Drapion in the deck. Really good against Gardevoir, and really good, of course, against Mew VMAX, which is pretty popular right now it did just win a big tournament over in europe and a lot of people are trying to play mew before it leaves the format forever and then we got a couple snorlax the deck here with thumping snore really good one prize attacker now i've also gonna play a cobalion in the deck now we'll talk about why cobalion's in here but it does allow your basic pokemon to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active dark pokemon really good against stuff like roaring moon but also really helpful against charizard now like i said this is a bad deck friday deck because amistar v has to you know attack to put archons out and it's a little less i guess consistently powerful as lugia because you're not using lugia v-star you're relying on amistar v instead now to help us set up i am playing at four path of the peak basically we're not playing luminion or anything or lugia v-star we're not relying on any abilities and v-star powers to set us up so we can just play four paths try to slow the opponent down while we work towards getting the archaeops out in to play which is why we are playing at four copies of path of the peak of course shout out to the sponsor card cabin tcg of course if you're looking for any peace july pack outs get them over at card cavern card capsules codes line for the cheapest so if you're looking for any set like Paldean Fates or an alert set, or of course, when Temporal Forces does go live in just a few weeks. Get your codes over at Card Cabin. If you do get a thing at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. You can also check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second YouTube channel for some extra content. My recent video on the second channel, I just did a video where we looked at some rogue decks in the post rotation format, like Gengar EX, Bramblegast, and Matang, and Torterra EX. Definitely go check out that video down below if you're interested. So here is the list for the deck. Here is my full deckless view for my Omastar and Friends deck. Now, it's honestly not a bad deck. Now, Omastar, like I said, it's a little bit faster at getting Archeops out than Lugia can be, depending on if Lugia bricks. One of Lugia's biggest issues is it tends to be a bit of a brick fest of a deck. Now, you can see here the supporters. We got four Iono, three boss, three research. I am playing a judge. We are playing Path the Peak, so I thought, hey, why not try out judge within the deck? Um, and again, the main attacker in the deck is going to be that Kangaskhan EX, because even if you flip three heads, you're still doing 300 damage. Now, when you're attacking with Kangaskhan, you're most likely going to have a double turbo energy on it. It does allow Kangaskhan to attack a lot easier, which now means you're doing 20 less damage. So if you're attacking with Kangaskhan with a DT, you are going to be doing less damage, but that's fine. You're still doing like 280 damage for three heads, which is pretty clean. Now, if we're playing against Charizard EX, and we happen to flip three heads with Kangaskhan against the Charizard, and we have a Cobalion on the bench, this does allow our Kangaskhan to do 330 damage for just three heads. We're either flipping four heads to knock out a Charizard, or three heads and a Cobalion. Same thing applies having Mew EX with Cobalion. This allows Mew actually to knock out Charizard if they've taken four prizes. If Charizard has two prizes left, instead of needing your opponent to go down to one prize, you can actually force them to go down to the two prizes, and then you can actually knock out a Charizard EX with Mew and Cobalion. So really is nice having the double Mew in the deck for that matchup. We also have Path against Charizard, which can be very annoying too. I am playing one Clap Stadium in the deck just to remove something off the bench that can, can take damage. I am playing a one Bravery Charm. This is definitely a card I think that we should maybe play a couple more of. It does allow your Kangaskhans to have 280 HP. Probably could play more Bravery Charm, maybe even play two to three in the deck. I wouldn't hate playing a more Bravery Charm. I am playing a one Forest Seal Stone because we don't play any V-Star powers, but we can use Forest Seal Stone with Omastar to help us out. 
and I am playing one water. Basically, it just allows your Omastar to actually attack and use Tentacle Lock. It actually does have its own attack. Um, it's a main attack here. is isn't terrible. Tentacle Lock does 110 damage, and if the defending Pokemon is in evolution, it can't attack. This can be pretty good against Charizard. Maybe against Charizard, you can, like, Iono path them to four, plus Tentacle Lock them, prevent them from being able to use Pidgeot, and then also prevent them from attacking. So it's just another way we can attack in the deck, so I thought, why not play the Water Energy in the deck, too, to attack with Omastar. But let's go show off my Kangaskhan Omastar deck in action on TCG Live and see what this deck can really do. All right, get into this game. We open up with Snorlax. Uh, yo, Serena EX. Do we ever beat that? Maybe? I actually don't know if that's a great matchup. We do have Snorlax, which can attack, I guess, but they can just attack with Trop Kick, so it might not even matter. And they're going first. And I don't have a turn one Omastar, but I can judge, maybe. Okay, what's our top deck? Iono? I need to get the Archeops out. Um... Hmm. Probably gotta get rid of the Judge. I'm gonna get the Almastar for sure. I think I just Iono and hope I hit the Jet Energy. Yeah, I think it's Iono, hope I hit Jet. I don't know. I maybe could have played the Judge, but they're playing Dodrio, so that's not really the greatest draw engine. And yeah, we hit the Jet, right? Sick. Nice team, I'm not ever. Can you Serena? They can't knock out my Omastar, though, so it's not that bad. Just wanna make sure I get the. the lads out. Let me check my prizes. Kangaskhan's in there. Mew. We could use Mew against them, I guess. Okay, we have the Water Energy. Water Energy's not bad. We can actually Tentacle Lock the Serena EX2 with Omastar. That's actually not bad. We can also Tentacle Lock them if we can actually find the Water. I don't know if we will find the Water, but that is an option. All right. Let's we'll see if they got Rare Candy Serena. I did Iona them. Oh, they're playing Vanilla. Yeah, it's actually pretty bad. I Ultra Balled away, boss. I should have maybe just kept the Judge. I should have got rid of the Judge. Yikes. I mean, they don't have it. We're chilling. So we can attack with Snorlax. They're playing Bibberl too? Wait, what? They're playing all that in their deck? No way. Okay, maybe their deck is inconsistent, because I don't know how they fit all that in the deck. All right, do they got Rare Candy Serena? I don't think so, right? Ooh, they have a research. Double Vessel. Are they just going to draw Serena Rare Candy off of seven cards? That'd be pretty bad if they did. Would not approve of that. I think I just swing with Snorlax, right? This thing's only doing... It's like doing 90 next turn, 60, 70. Eh, it's not doing anything to Snorlax. Okay. They whiff. Nice. Yeah, let's attack with Snorlax, I think. I'm going to conserve the Jet Energy. So we might need it in this matchup. And obviously, I'm just not going to bench. I'm going to not overcommit to my bench. Let's grab Therapeutic and DTE. Yeah, I just don't overcommit to my bench here. Um, do I even want a Iono? Yeah, I guess. I want to get other Archeops. There's no reason not to Iono. I don't even know if I evolved the Archon, though, because we can use Archeops to attack my opponent. Ooh, nice Force Seal Stone. It's a good hand. Yeah, we'll just swing. If they, I mean, if they have a Lost Vacuum, so be it. Hopefully they don't. Honestly, I think next turn, I might just boss kill the Vanilla so they don't get Vanilla up. Because we're, we might have to rely on the friggin' Kangaskhan to KO Serena. Oh, we do have Bravery Charm. Okay, maybe what we can do, actually, is we can, they can, we can, we can Bravery Charm around the Serena. Okay, we actually have two ways to deal with Serena. We can Bravery Charm, and then that'll give us more health. That's actually part of my strategy then, okay. There's Luminion, ooh, it's a boss target, though I Ultra Balled away boss. Like I said, I probably should have got rid of the, the Judge, not the boss. Kind of overestimated how useful that would be. They got the Serena, potentially. They could also get Vanellux here. I don't think they're going to get Vanellux, though. I don't know. We do have ways to beat this. We have uh, Omastar's Lock Attack. If we can find Water Energy, we do have the Forest Seal to guarantee it. We have Bravery Charm if it's in the deck. I didn't really prize check. If Bravery Charm is in the deck, we can use Bravery Charm. We can go Kangaskhan, hit. They hit me with Serena, and then we Bravery Charm the Kangaskhan. Big Balloon. Maybe they're not. Wait, what did they ear it for? I wasn't really paying attention. I was kind of blabbing. I haven't played the Erdy yet. Lol. Hmm. Yeah, I could Force Steel Stone boss kill Vanilla, to be honest. I don't hate that either. That's also an option. Could boss Serena EX here and punch it with Snorlax. I actually wouldn't mind just taking a prize this turn, though, in general. Because then we just go 2-2-2 two, two, two to win. So I think that's okay just to KO the Dodrio with Snorlax. Or just at least take one knockout this turn. Hitting the Serena with, like, a Force Steel Stone for boss seems kind of, kind of pointless. Panic Mass. That's... 
Okay, now I don't think it matters we kill the Vanellox. Ooh, they go into the Serena. No, don't do it. Ice Skull Soul does not work on Snorlax. I guess I can hit my Omastar, though, which is probably what they're going to do. Bruh. No, your attack doesn't work against me. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we take those, I guess. We hit Path. I don't even really need Path this matchup, to be honest. I could Force Steel Stone for boss kill their Bibberol to shut off their Dronjin. It's not a terrible play either. Could Nest Ball for Mew. I don't think I want to get Mew. I think I just Thumping Snore. I just hold the hand. I'm not going to play the Path. I might need it for Mew EX just for the ability. There's like, there's no reason to play Path. I don't really see a reason to put Path in play. We can I got the Serena next turn with Kangaskhan too. I mean, they couldn't really do much last turn to be honest. So like, I mean, I guess it was actually okay because they hit me with Dodrio. I would just, I would just knock him out with Thumping Snore. But if they did a misplay, thinking that Ice School Soul works against Snorlax, bro. The unfazed fat. They just need a Grass Energy to kill me. They are down two Vessels and a couple Grass. Honestly, they don't really play that much energy. There's a chance they could whiff the Grass Energy here, which would be pretty good to be honest. Yeah, there's a chance they whiff the attack and knock it out on my Snorlax. There's actually a chance. There's an Arvin. I highly doubt they play three Earthen Vessels. Oh, they could have Force Seal Stone, though. Yeah, they probably do have Force Seal Stone. Never mind. That's going to guarantee the knockout. Yep, never mind. I lied. That's not good. Hmm. Wow, if we just play smart, we should be okay. We can take a KO with Mew, right? They'll heal 30 from the Trop Kick. Mew can knock him out. I think we'll just KO them with Mew here with Trop Kick. We'll KO their, we'll KO their Serena with Mew EX. And we'll save the Kangaskhan Bravery Charm for later. I think that's okay. Okay, Super Rod. That's fine. It doesn't get a Serena EX back, which could be good. You just have to be very precise with how we approach this matchup. You have to be very cautious how we approach. And they got the Knockout. Do they have the Vanellux? If I ever find a boss, going after Vanellux could be okay, but they're going to force heal stone. They hit the energy anyways. No. Hmm. Hopefully they don't play Collapse Stadium. I actually wouldn't mind that Luminion staying in play. That is a very good boss target for us. Okay, they got the Vanellux. That's fine. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. The Panic Mask is already on. Maybe we just attack with Snorlax in this matchup. And we can't use it right now, but I mean like later though. Okay. Let's grab Mew. What's our top deck? Drapion? Drapion's not bad, but probably not great either. Bravery Charm is in there. Okay, good. Kind of should I play two. All right, we'll go Mew. Primal Turbo. Put V Guarding Gift Energy on. And then go Jet. Whee! All right. Do I just play the path here? I don't think there's a reason to. I kind of want to burn it, though. Yeah, screw it. We'll put the path in play. No genome hacking. Dropkick. Is this any Pokemon? Your opponent's Pokemon? If Vanellix was any Pokemon, I would have probably just copied Serena's attack. All right, what's our prizes? Path and research. Okay, see, now I'm glad I just played the path. Because, like, the path is just going to clog up my deck. If we get, like, Iona or something, path just kind of gets in the way. They promote the Dodrio. Dodrio doesn't knock out Mew here, I don't think, right? Four damage counters is not enough. Clara! Oh, no. Here comes Serena again. We just have to swing with Kangaskhan and hope we can one-shot them. We just have to go Kangaskhan and hope we can take a one-hit KO on the Serena. I gotta be very cautious. My energy preservation, too. We could Bravery Charm the Mew and then copy Tropkick to heal 30. That's not gonna matter, though. Oh, they're playing the Braviary too. Oh god. So now we're on a clock. Oh, that's actually really bad. I need a boss. I need to kill that with boss. They might Iono me here. I actually don't have Kangaskhan at the moment, which is pretty bad. I could go Drapion against them, I guess. But I need too much energy for that. Could attack with the other Archeops. No, I don't know. This matchup's really annoying to be honest. Oh, they're gonna swim with Dodrio? Wait, what? Dude, give me a boss top deck. Okay, is boss in there? That's a huge misplay. Boss is in the deck, right? That's a huge... My opponent just threw. Why did they not go Serena? Okay, watch this. Forest Seal Stone for boss.
No, wait. Oh, if I go... Mm, that was actually a misplay. Can I knock out Vanellix? No. So I just... I guess I just Ballistic beat them back. Okay, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. Uh, I could get the Collapse Stadium here, but they get rid of the fish. Do I just... Go Drapion, knock out Luminion. No, we just need one prize to win. But I can just win with boss. Okay, that was a misplay. I actually... I should have just misplayed pretty hard. Right, it's fine. We'll grab Nest Ball. I think we still get Kangaskhan here. Let's knock out the active. For some reason, my brain thought that I can copy Dodrio from the bench. That was not what I meant to do. I guess we'll judge. I want to preserve my energy. All right, we hit collapsed. I didn't get boss though. Hmm. Okay. We can do a ton of damage with Ballistic Beak. 400 damage. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Are they still... I don't know why they didn't go Serena last turn though still. That was kind of weird, but okay, we'll take it. Therapeutic energy. There we go. More energy the merrier. Yeah, I didn't... I should have saved the Force Seal. I didn't mean to play the Force Seal. Because I thought we could... I, for some reason, I thought we could boss kill Serena. But we can't. Honestly, I still could have Trop Kicked it. But now we can just win by bossing the fish if it doesn't get Collapse Stadiumed off the board. Flipping heads in the Aroma. That's pretty bad. Then get that Braviary. I mean, honestly, I could have bossed up... Uh, I could have maybe KO'd a Pokemon there with Archeops. I could just went Archeops, KO, Braviary. Let's get the Kangaskhan down. Mew can still attack. Mew can still attack. They must have thought they were doing like 140. I don't know. I'm surprised they went to Odrio. I think it was correct to just go Serena there, right? I mean, whatever. We'll take it. Now we can win by bossing up Luminion for game. But we're relying on Kangaskhan. So I don't know. Maybe I should have put Drapion down. Yeah, I should have been Drapion. I didn't get boss off Judge anyways. I don't even know. Maybe I should just research there instead of... But then I lose it a gift energy. I want to make sure I have enough energy in the deck to attack a couple more times in order to win this. I think it was correct to just save that, obviously. Oh, they're going for the Braviary. They can't win with Braviary next turn, though. When we hit the Drapion. We just Trop Kick, right? They can't win Braviary just yet. I could just go for the win here with Kangaskhan right here, right now. Do I just play the Collapse then? I'm not benching... Drapey on, then maybe it's okay. We can collapse the Kangaskhan we benched off the board. I think that probably is fine. Swing with Kangaskhan, collapse Stadium, this guy off the board. They get rid of their Luminion, though, but I want I want to make sure I have a boss out. But they just win in, like, two turns. But I can still go Mew next turn and copy Trop Kick, and they don't have another thing, so I think this is okay. I'm not going to play the Collapsed. So we just have, yeah, we have boss. I just want to have, like, guaranteed boss, basically. Do we go Kangaskhan, or should we just Trop Kick? So we'll just hit that with the Serena. No, I think we go Kangaskhan. So we need to two-shot this Serena. Let's go for the two-shot. All right, let's go. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? We did 80 damage. Bro, no, that's so bad. No, we whiffed the KO on the Serena. And we didn't even two-shot it. I needed two heads to two-shot this thing. So I could have went Mew last turn. You can see why this is bad deck Friday. Bruh. That's actually so bad. Oh, God. We have, like, two turns left. Oh, why did that have to happen? No. I can't win this turn. I could Aqua return the Luminion. I guess I can copy Trop Kick and then Almastar for game. I guess I still have the two shot anyways, right? That sucks. Okay, they can't win next turn, right? Yeah, they can't take five prizes. They could Iono the boss at the bottom of the deck, though. We could just do this. That sucks. <laughs> Do we Trop Kick or Ice School Soul? I mean, theoretically, it is better to Ice School Soul here. I guess. I 
And then we just win next turn with Archeops or Armistar. We have boss. I thought I own me, dude. What is this? This game is scuffed, bro. What is this game even? Okay, we can still find Bravery Charm to attack with one of the Kangaskhans if we really have to. I think we win. My opponent needs to Iono me here. If they don't Iono me, we have a game with boss. I should not have played that four seal stone though when I did. Again, that was a misplay. If we have the four seal stone, we probably would have won by bossing. They need to Iono me. They haven't played an Iono yet, but I don't know if they play Iono. Well, they probably, they definitely do. There's no way you don't play Iono. I don't know. about to find out what happens. There's an Ultra Ball. I mean, that's the thing though. If they attack with Braviary, that's not going to be enough because then I can just KO the Serena with Mew. So it's kind of a checkmate position. They can go Dodrio. They have Team Devo, because that doesn't really matter. <laughs> that doesn't really matter in this scenario. It actually, Team Devo does work against Archeops when it evolves from Archon. Because you can't you can't use Team Devo against Lugia when there's two Archeops in play. This is just a weird game. But yeah, if they go Braviary, KO two Kangaskhan, I just win by KOing their uh, Serena here with the Mew. Because I can copy Braviary and then knock out the Serena with Mew. They can go to Odrio for the KO, but I have boss in hand. Hmm. This is close. This is a very close game. But they just Arvind. So I just win. They Arvind. As long as I... I think I have two energy in the deck, right? I think there's two energy left. So I can't draw an energy and then not be able to win. There should at least be one energy in the deck. As long as there's an energy in the deck, I can win. Because so I can boss KO the... I can boss KO Serena with Omistar for a game. Now they're just going to stay in the active. All right, that is GG's. Sick. I guess I could draw the two energy here and then get farmed. Okay, we drew the double turbo, which works too. Yeah, I knew I had... As long as I had two energy in the deck, it's fine. <laughs> we had a double turbo, which also works. Even the double turbo guarantees the win. We can knock out the active with Tentacle Lock. Yep, just making sure 60 HP. Okay, good. Very close match. Honestly, this is kind of a weird matchup. We had a few plays we can make. Obviously, Mew EX is a good attacker. We have the Kangaskhan Bravery Charm duo. Bravery Charm in general. I don't know. That was a weird game. I actually don't know how we won that. We priced a lot of energy. We priced like four energy that game, which is terrible too. Crazy match. Serena's always tough to play against. It's like, it's kind of like, depending on what you're playing, it is kind of like playing Snorlax in a way, where you have to be very cautious with how you play it. All right, in this game, we're going first, and I think I might be against a Kyogre deck. I saw Water, Colrus, and Dark Energy, so it looks like it could be a Kyogre deck, which honestly is kind of a bad matchup for this deck, because Kyogre destroys us. We don't play Mana Fee. Starting hand's kind of interesting. Can they get to thing turn one? Do we ever respect that? I don't think we can afford to do a turn of Almastar, which means ugh, we can't get Archeops out. Get Snorlax, I guess. Bench Mew and pass. I guess I'd just be mindful of how many Pokemon I bench. I don't know. This matchup seems kind of tough if they have Kyogre. Because I can't use... I can't use Omastar. I mean, I can. I can buy a turn with Omastar, but... Now we'll see. Kyogre is going to be very difficult to manage, though, if that's what they're playing. If they're not playing Kyogre, though... Like, if I don't see any Kyogre, we should be okay. Like, if they're not playing Kyogre, we should be okay. They did get... Ooh, that's a good chorus. Double Comfy. They had a grid of a Counter Catcher, though. Maybe I do have to try to get Omastar out. Maybe we do have to. Ooh, they hit four seal. They can't get turn one attack, right? Theoretically, they can with the four seal, but I guess we'll see. If they knock me out, maybe. Okay, we'll see what they got here. Flower select away a comfy. Pretty good pick. They have a nest ball again. I don't like that. No way. Not the nest ball. It's pretty bad. I think we just research, right? Assuming they don't pop the four seal. If they pop the four seal, maybe we Iono. I don't know. No, they got a third comfy. They're going for that turn one attack, it looks like, judging from the comfies. If they get, like, turn one Roaring Moon, I mean, GG's, I guess. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that if they get turn one Moon. Uh, yeah, that would be very bad if they get turn Roaring Moon. I guess we're just going to hope they don't get the turn one Roaring Moon. That's the plan. That is the plan. But that has to be, like, Lost Vacuum. There's no way they get the knockout, right? Pokestop? Yeah, they're definitely playing Kyogre then. Yeah, Mirage Gate Vacuum. They hit the Vacuum. They're at three. They'll be put them to five. Can they even get there? I'm not even sure. I mean, they could mess up the Kyogre, I guess, which is also possible. Yeah, they're at five. They can get to seven next turn. So that's the thing with going 
Omastar. I get to seven next turn. Or maybe we do have to just go Omastar and pray. Hmm. Do I just Iono and hope they don't got it? Or do I research? Can I just research and hope they don't get there? No, I whiffed Omastar anyways, though. Crap. I think we're just going to have to hit with Kangaskhan and pray. I actually whiffed the Omastar there and the Jet Energy. Not good. Just gonna attack and hope we get this knockout. All right, all right that, that's fine. Optimal KO. We only need one head to kill that comfy. Optimal knockout. Let's see if Kangaskhan dies. I did get the path down. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Uh, we got rid of their Poke Stop though, which is decent. I don't know if that's gonna matter though. Yeah, if we're playing against Kyogre, we might just get farmed by Kyogre. I can't do. If they get Roaring Moon next turn, I just probably lose because I can't attack next turn. So if they just get the Moon here, we probably just lose the game. I just gotta hope they can't pull it off. That's why I didn't Iono them. Because, like, they did play the Four Seal Stone early, which tells me they probably have a Colrus. Another Super Rod gets Lost Zone. If they whip the KO here, we have a shot of going Omastar still, which I do want to do. I still want to get the Omastar off this match. I think we're going to have to at this point. And just kind of hope and pray we dodge Kyogre. That's all I can really do. Flood the board with one Prizers. It's not a bad option. I just gotta pray they don't knock out Kangaskhan this turn. They're down three energies right now. Man, if he gets Lost Zoned. They mentioned Greninja. We could try to use Mew. All right, let's see what they got. Eight cards in hand. Can they pull off a knockout here? I need to go Omastar. Cram? That's a good sign. Okay, it looks like we're just getting spitted. Yeah, cool. Oh, they're going to boss. Okay. They actually bring in the... I am fine with that. They bring in the Mew. So now I just draw Omastar. We can just do the thing. We can just Mew. Cool. I don't want to burn another Iono, though. Can I draw a star here? Make my life easy. Bruh. Hmm. I don't want to Iono them. I think we have to research, unfortunately. I'm just going to bench the Cobalion so I can flood my board with one prizers. We got there. I'll be at barely. I can only get one Archon out, but honestly, that's fine. We might only need the one Archon anyways. Like I said, I didn't need to bench the Cobalion because we would have put two Archons down. But I also could have drawn, like, two Archons. I don't know. Let's just do this. Honestly, it's fine. One Archeops is more than enough, to be honest. Because everything can attack for one Archeops, as long as we can serve our double turbos. I don't think I have any Iono left. I have my Judge, which is good. We can still try to get Judge at some point, which is nice. They definitely can kill me if they have a Mirage Gate. They can go Raikou, knock out Omastar, because they just speak to Lightning. So they can knock out my Omastar this turn with Raikou, but can they pull that off? Losing the Clap Stadium is kind of annoying, because I wanted to Clap some you off the board. I don't know. We'll see if this is winnable. It's going to be tough if they have Kyogre, but as long as I can try to take as many prizes as I can before they can get there, it's fine. Okay, they got Mirage Gate. They need to find a way to move Cram here. Let's see if any of those four cards is a way to retreat Cram. They go Raikou. We can potentially kill them back with Mew or Kangaskhan. I think we're going to have to try to go Kangaskhan. Yeah, Kangaskhan KO Raikou seems like it's going to be the play here. Hopefully. Yeah, I think Kangaskhan KO Raikou is fine. I right, see what our gift energy is going to give me. More energy. That's what I was worried was going to happen. We're drawing way too much energy right now. But yeah, if they ever bench Radiant Greninja, we can try to use Mew. We haven't played a boss yet, so if they ever bench Greninja, they did lost some Manaphy. We can try to use the, the play. Nice, another Snorlax. Pretty good. I'm going to bench that. Yeah, I'm just going to just be try to King's Gun kill. I could whiff the knockout, which is honestly really bad. There's one thing I'm a little worried about is if we whiff the KO. I don't think I need V-Guard, right? I think I have a Dragonite, I guess. Do I just put V-Guard on? Respect Dragonite here. Maybe? I don't know if they have Dragonite, though. Should I respect the Dragonite? They can Sableye my Mew next turn. V-Guard respect Dragonite. They are bricking right now, but if they just draw Colrus, they can easily get back into it. Yeah, I'm going to respect the Dragonite. I'm going to put the V-Guard on. Just in case they have it, and we'll just attack. We need two heads to knock him out here. Come on, Kangaskhan. That's all you need. One, two... Three, four, why not? Yeah, let's go. Just destroy this Raikou. Yeah, 380 damage. Take that, Raikou. All right, you know what? That works, too. I mean, I didn't need that, but we'll take it. We'll see what our prizes are. Gen energy and path. More energy is decent. The energy is, like, all in our hand. We still have a decent amount in the deck, though. That was a huge knockout. 
Oh, they hit a Pokestop. See, now I'm glad I did that. There's Greninja. Yo, if I can find a boss, that's how we can win the game. Mirage Gate. Are they going to Greninja me? It looks like they are. Uh, can they pull it off, though? They're down to water. They need a water energy and a switching card here to attack. I don't know why they promoted Kramer yet. They should have still promoted Comfy, right? They had it anyways, of course. All right, Pokestop. Escape Rope. Yeah, rip. They lose Roxanne. Let's give him Mew. We can go with another Mew here and KO two Comfies. I think that's going to be the play, right? Yeah. Take two prizes. Force him to basically win this next turn. Where are they going to put this 90 damage, though? 90 on Kangaskhan has to be the play, right? I feel like you have to go 90 on Kangaskhan here. Because then they can just win next turn. No, 90 on Snorlax. Are they not going to kill my Mew? Yeah, I was going to say, knock at the Mew. The other Mew should be in the deck, right? I actually don't know if it's prized. Hopefully it's in there. I don't know why they didn't put 90 on Kangaskhan. They're definitely not Kyogre me next turn. I 100% don't think they're going to care. They're also down 9 energy now. They need, like, a boss now to stop me. I mean, I guess they have, like, Counter Catcher. They could have even put 90 on this guy. I don't know why they put the 90 there. It's very strange. All right, let me just make sure I got Mew. Okay, good. No, but if I go Mew, they could win the game, though. But I am killing two Comfies. And I'm getting Path that No, I'm good. Do we go Mew? Do we just attack with Snorlax? Then they have time to win the game. I think... Because we know they play Moon. I think I just go with the Mew and just... I think we just take the knockout with Mew. I think we just go for it. Yeah, I 100% I think the Mew play is correct. Yeah, I think we just take the Mew KO. Because, like, okay, they could theoretically win. But I'm going to play a Path. If I had Iono here, that'd be great, too. I can't draw any more cards, unfortunately. Yeah, we just kill the two Comfies, force my opponent to win this turn. If they win, they win. So be it. If they got it, they got it. If they have it, they have it. If they don't have it, we will just win next turn. Most likely. Unless, like, they go into a Pokemon that... Well, I have Cobalion plus the Kangaskhan, which can one-shot... Almost one-shot Moon. Okay, we got boss for game. Okay. So my opponent needs to win this turn. We just put a path in play. Got rid of their la hopefully last Pokestop. They're now two Mirage Gate. They're down nine energy and two Super Rod are in the lost zone. What are the chances they can actually pull a knockout off? What are the actual chances? They're down nine energy. Two Super Rod are in the lost zone. They have no Pokestops. They have no Comfy this turn. There's a path in play. They can't even do concealed cards even if they have an energy. What are the actual chances we get KO'd here? Like, actually, we're about to find out. I guess I probably... What did they get off that Pokestop? I probably should check the game log just to make sure. What did that Pokestop give them again? I think it was like Rope. Yeah, just Rope. Which they played. I think... Okay, there, there's no way. My opponent needs a... They need the nuts to knock me out here. I mean, it's possible, I guess, if they have a Colrus, but still. They need so much to knock out my Mew. Yo, they got their own Mew? Okay, that's fine. That's not going to win them the game. They can't Mew for game against me here. They're down to Roxanne. I highly doubt they play two. They can't pat the path path is coming up clutch here. See, they can't use Mew to they can't use Mew this turn. We have a Gen Energy in hand. They can't go Sableye, Counter Catcher, Stall, Snorlax, or anything. We have enough energy in the deck to attack anyways. Escape rope. Yeah, take my Snorlax. That's fine. They have to go into Mew this turn and hope I can't knock it out. There's a path in play. They can't even do their ability. They can't even draw cards. Switch card? That's not gonna work either. One card in hand. Is it a stadium? They have to literally have a third Pokestop slash stadium here to even do anything. Unless that's a Colrus. Retreat. Yeah, they got to go into Mew and hope on a boss. Or knock it out with Kangaskhan. But we have game. GG's. GG's. Honestly, I didn't know how this matchup was going to play. Kind of got close for sure. Definitely got really close. I don't know if they had Kyogre or not. If they did, so be it. But we got there. What's our last pride? Never mind. They scoop. There you go. GG's. We got to use Mew, which was kind of cool. Double Mew is kind of nuts. That's why we played two of them. Because otherwise, this deck probably struggles against Giratina, obviously. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Interesting matchup. Um, but we got there. And that's all that matters. And uh, we take those dubs. We're against Charizard. We are going first. Honestly, not terrible. And we got the Amistar. 
So I think we're just going to go ahead and grab that there. Let's check our deck here. We do have Archons, Archeops. Cobalion is in the deck. Good to know. I'm just going to play a DT. And a pass? I guess I could have played the path there. Honestly, probably should have. I don't know. We can Ultra Ball for Mew next turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. I could also play aggressive with Kangaskhan, but I definitely think we use the opportunity. Go Jet Energy into Almastar. Whoa, they're playing Colrus's Experiment in their deck here. It's very interesting. Um, Okay, that's fine. It's not an Arvin. doesn't guarantee them stuff. I need to find an Iona or a Judge here, which is why I kind of want to just go Mew next turn with this Ultra Ball and set up. Let's see what they get rid of. <laughs> they lost on a Battle VIP, but it's your first turn of the game. I mean, they definitely got two battle VIPs, right? There's no way you lost someone one VIP and not... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. There's a Manaphy coming down. Ooh, escape rope. It's fine. We were going to play Jet anyways. Really? They didn't grab the VI? Okay, they had to have gotten, like, rare candy or something off that. There's no way they didn't get a battle VIP there. That is actually kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll get rid of these two. Grab Mew EX. Try to draw something here. I could use this to get Archeops, but... Happily get a Mew. Try to draw into something for next turn. Nest Ball. Get another Mew. Why not? Let's just go off with the Mews. Just keep on Mewing and Mewing. Nice. Let's go. I'm going to hold the hand because I do have the Water Energy, which we can actually use in this matchup. So I want to try to hold on to that if we can. All right. Not bad. I can't bench Cobalion at the moment, which could be relevant if I have to go for a big swing with Kangaskhan here, but whatever. I have a double turbo on the Kangaskhan anyways, which... Maybe I shouldn't have put on. Yeah, they had rare candy. That's probably what the Colrus gave them. It was probably like rare candy Pidgeot or something. All right, we'll see they have a stadium here. Can they get out of the path of the peak? That's why we do play path in the deck. It is pretty relevant. As you can see, it kind of comes in handy in this situation. But we'll see if my opponent has a way around it. They have double candy. But my opponent can't get energy into play as there is a path to the peak in play. So they are unable to get out of that. Oh, they had a Colrus. Wait, why would you not Colrus afford the rare candies then? Because now they, now they get a stadium, they're going to get completely punished. Yeah, now they're going to get punished if they get a stadium here. Kind of should I still have that boss, to be honest. Would have been nice to boss Charizard. Because I have to take a one prize route, which kind of sucks. DTE. They're playing Arceus V-Star, probably. Another Charmander. I mean, they got no energy in play, which is good. There's a path in play, too. So, I don't know if that Chorus has got anything. I'm surprised they did the rare candies first. Why? It would be better to Chorus, right? Because you can see if you get a stadium. Okay, then. What's our top deck? Ultra Ball. Okay. Can't do Mew. We'll just research. Hoping for at least one Archeops. Nice. Let's go. Not a bad hand. We got another path for next turn. We can retreat. Let's go into Kangaskhan, I think. Obviously, it's the bulkiest boy. And we'll put the Gift Energy on, I guess. Sure. Um, Should I ever play the Bravery Charm here? I don't think it matters, right? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll play it. I mean, they could have, like, a Defiance Band, I guess. I mean, they need a lot to knock me out next turn, but we'll see. All right, we were hoping for some bad... I said bad coin flips. I wanted to get a bad coin flip KO here. I didn't want to flip three heads, because now I might not get three heads later on in the game if I need it. Yikes. Okay, we got a double turbo. That's good. Another DT. Put that on Amistar. We might use Amistar in this matchup with Tentacle Lock here against the Pidgey, or against the Charizard, so... Keep that in mind. Oh, they hit a stadium. And it's a collapse stadium. It's kind of annoying, actually. Do we just get rid of the Almastar, honestly? Yeah, screw it. I mean, the Almastar is good to have, but I think I kind of want everything else. I want to at least have a Mew in my deck so I can knock out a Charizard with Cobalion. So I don't think I want to get rid of the... I don't think I want to get rid of the thing. I don't want to get rid of the thing. Do they really... Or, blah, 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 the Mews. Because they could have a boss, right? They KO my only Mew. It might, then I'm relying solely on Kangaskhan. I think it's okay to ditch the Amistar. I think. I think. Bro, no way. How do they find Charizard this easily, bro? They've played three candies in two turns without even needing... That's actually ridiculous. Okay, that's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. Do they have energy, right? They're not two. Okay. Well, glad I played the Bravery Charm. My opponent actually had the Stadium plus for a candy Charizard combo. So look at that. Glad I played the thing. That is pretty annoying. This is not fun. Not fun, not fun. All right, Kota, what do we draw? Okay, V-Guard energy. Cool. So let's play the path. Bench the Kangaskhan. Load it up with energy. Uh, 
Go gift and jet, sure. You can attach V guard. Let's go for the attack. I'm not going to bother Ionoin, obviously. Okay, here we go. Can we get a knockout? We need four heads. Oh, dude, no, three heads again when I don't have, when I, oh my gosh. Three heads again, dude. That actually kind of sucks. I didn't have Cobalion. Like, even if I had Cobalion, right, where the double turbo makes it not knock you out, that kind of sucks. We actually had three heads. Oh, and they found a fire energy, too, for the Charizard. I don't like that either. It's also kind of a yikes. Okay, they still can't do Pidgeot. Do I even not Yono next turn? Probably not, right? If they just have an energy, they can attack another Kangaskhan. Honestly, we might lose this game. We'll see if they can set a third Charizard up. I mean, if we KO'd them there, it would have been a lot better. Let's see what our three cards are. More energy. Okay. If I get a boss here, I could boss. I guess we can go Snorlax, right? Yeah, we can go Snorlax here. Yeah, let's go Snorlax and just hope my opponent doesn't have a... Uh, they, they don't have a thing. They have a boss in hand. That would suck. Even if they boss KO me, we can knock them out with uh, Cobalion Muse, so it's okay. Then we can, like, Iono them. Should I do anything else? There's not really a reason to play the Forest Seal, but I guess at the same time... Because I don't think we're benching another Omastar. Because we need to probably get Cobalion down at this point in time. So I think we can probably just put this somewhere else. We don't really need that anymore. Uh, I'm not going to Iono. They haven't really done anything. I don't really see a reason to give them four new cards. Because, like, if my opponent gets something off the prizes that lets them do anything, whatever it is, what it is. If they have Energy Boss in hand, so be it. Without a Pidgeot, we'll see it. If they have it with the Pidgeot, it's not as bad. But if they have just raw Energy Boss in hand, so freaking be it. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got going on. We can kill their Charizard next turn, though, with Mew. So we are close to winning this. I'll say Iono me, I guess. Even if they do that, we can still try to go off with Kangaskhan. Celebrations Mew. Do they have it in attack? They don't got it like that. Okay. Hmm. Do I just smack with Snorlax? Probably, right? Yeah, I'll just smack with Snorlax here. The next turn, we can go into the Kangaskhan and KO them. Or I could just go Mew, knock him out, which I'll probably do. Let's we'll see if they draw an energy card here. Path is, Path is doing work. This is why we are playing Path of the deck. As you can see, it's saving us. No, they drew an energy. Uh, is there a boss in their hand? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Charizard usually has it like that. Yep, there it is. What are they KOing? Kangaskhan? Yep. It's fine. So, my opponent doesn't have another... They don't have another Charmander. So, I think we're probably still winning this game. So, now we can go Iono to two. Attack with Mew here. I don't know if they can do anything about this. So, I think we should still win this game. Thanks to this path being in play. You just need to make sure everything goes well. Should be enough energy in the deck for Mew here, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir. There is two energy left in the deck. I mean, I guess I can, I can put the double turbo on, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, can bench Cobalion? Doesn't matter anymore, right? Yeah, I guess if they go Rare Candy Charizard, I don't know. I don't think it matters. We'll just bench Cobalion. We have an energy in the deck, so it's fine. All right, let's Iono. See what we got here. There's boss. All right, we got game next turn guaranteed. Genome hacking. All right. They got no way to attack currently, unless they have another double turbo. I don't even know if they're playing Arceus, so I have not seen an Arceus yet. We have game in hand. We have the boss. They have no way to attack, and they have no way to do an ability if they don't get a stadium. We'll see if my Iono gave him. What is bro cooking? Do they got it like that? Three cards in hand. Do they have the knockout? There's a nest ball. They basically need to get an Iono, or else I just flat out win. They do play Arceus. Not going to matter, though. They could hit a lost vacuum, I guess, which could help them. Even if they Iono me, they got to go to the stadium, and then I can restart to try to draw into another boss. I have two boss in the deck, and they fail the tail... Yeah, they have nothing here. We just win. Actually, yeah, we just win. Retreat. And I mean, yeah, that's that's GG's. My opponent doesn't have anything. Is there an Iono? Oh, Bro, they actually had an Iono. Are you kidding me? What, dude? No way I owned them to do an Iono. Okay, come on, really? You're going to make this even longer than it needs to be, bro. 
That's actually kind of ridiculous they had that. What the heck? Okay, well, they got nothing else. They got no Charmander. We ain't, we ain't in any danger at the moment. Might as well as genome hacking. I don't think it matters. We could we could swing with Snorlax. We two shot them anyways with Snorlax Mew if they go RC's V Star. That's actually crazy they had that. What? I was like, nah, they don't got Iono. Bro actually had it. But thankfully they didn't do much else. They still haven't gone to stadium yet. Even if they get the V Star here, we just win with Snorlax. Yeah, I don't think it matters if we retreat in a Snorlax or not. Because like, there's no way they can attack my Mew this turn. I get, Oh, they could have a Radiant Charizard. Maybe we should have went to Snorlax. Okay, well, they concede anyways. Like I said, they probably don't have anything. I guess I should have went to Snorlax. I guess on the off chance, they had a Radiant Charizard. But we got there. And as you can see, this is why we play Path to the Peak. Otherwise, Charizard just kind of just runs us over really quickly. And there you have it, folks. That is my Almastar Kangaskhan deck in action. We did beat a Charizard deck in today's video, which is pretty cool. Obviously, having access to the path really did carry us. I think if I were to make any changes to this list after playing it, I probably want to play more Bravery Charm. I think we should maybe play two to three Bravery Charm. I don't know what we would cut exactly. I'm not, I'm not sure what you can cut. Like, maybe an energy. I guess you could cut the Collapse Stadium out um to add another energy like i will or another bravery charm i wouldn't hate another bravery charm in here that's really all i would change but yeah this deck is fun to play and kangaskhan is a very fun attacker because yeah you can do some insane damage with it if you get lucky with those coin flips and i really did like the uh the attacking engines of mew and snorlax for backup i thought it was really cool but that'll be for me on today's video with the amistar deck for bad deck friday who needs lugia when you got amistar v baby but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below we're on the road to 56 thousand subs we're getting super close to 56k so you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe down below check our card cabin down below if you get any codes use code LDF. check out my twitch my twitter my discord and the shovel squad and my second channel down below for some extra content and all that good stuff and i'll catch y'all on another pc live video have a good day and bye bye